Well, hello, everybody. It's Dr. Jill Carnahan. I just stopped by today to talk to you about a common virus lurking in the shadows that many of you may or may not be aware of. Has anyone ever heard of Epstein-Barr virus? It's becoming more and more prominent on social media, on YouTube videos. I've done several episodes on it and even just in general public conversation. I think one of the things that we're all experiencing is weakened immune systems since the pandemic. And one of the things that can happen in the case of a weakened immune system is old infections like Epstein-Barr. Remember when you got mono as a 19-year-old just in college? Well, that was Epstein-Barr. That's a virus that many of us, over 90% of the population has had Epstein-Barr virus. And what happens is we get acute mononucleosis, sore throat, fatigue, sometimes for four to six weeks as a teenager or a college kid. And then that virus goes dormant, but it remains in our system for the rest of our life. Now, many of you think that sounds kind of crazy, but if any of you know about chicken pox, which many people years ago, like my uh, group of age had as a child, and now of course there's a vaccine against it, can reactivate as shingles, right? And everybody's heard of shingles. Well, that's just a reactivation of the old chicken pox virus, also known as varicella, that starts to become a problem if you have stress or surgery or lack of sleep or some thing that takes your immune system offline and this virus pops up and causes shingles, right? Well, Epstein-Barr can be a lurking stranger just like varicella. And if we get a weakened immune system or low immunity, specifically cytotoxic T cells, um, this virus can pop back up and cause things like extreme fatigue, brain fog, uh, cer cervical swollen lymph nodes that'd be on your neck, swollen lymph nodes or flu-like symptoms, um, sometimes just malaise or feeling unwell. And it can cycle. You can have a few days where you just feel unwell and really, really tired and then have a great week and then happens again. And it usually comes out and is more active. It causes more symptoms when you're under stress or not sleeping well. Any of you can relate to that? So this has actually been a really common thing I see in patients is reactivation of Epstein-Barr virus. So the first thing is just recognizing what it is. The second thing is having your doctor test for it or just clinically uh, seeing if you fit those symptoms. Like I said, sore throat, swollen lymph nodes, um, malaise, fatigue, sometimes low-grade fever. Um, some people will have a rash. Some people will feel more down or emotionally um, labile, more crying or tearfulness or overwhelmed or sadness or just exhaustion. Exhaustion, extreme exhaustion is the number one symptom that I hear from patients. So what can we do about it? Well, of course, there are some lifestyle things. I've written multiple blogs about this on my website, jillcarnahan.com. You can always go there and read the blogs. It's all free content. But there are some really, really important things you need to do because it's usually a sign that you're overdoing it or that you're in a state that you're maybe not getting enough sleep, stress levels are too high. So some of the very practical things would be getting good amounts of sleep. So of course, there's practical lifestyle suggestions that we can do to help when we have reactivation of Epstein-Barr virus. The first thing is adequate sleep, making sure that you're sleeping deeply and profoundly and getting adequate seven to eight hours a night of sleep so that you wake up without an alarm, refreshed and feeling ready for the day. One of my favorite tricks for this is getting outside the bright light sunlight directly in my eye within the first 10 minutes of waking up. I'll go out to my balcony and water my flowers because that sunlight actually resets and sets up your circadian rhythm for the next night's sleep. Um, avoiding toxic exposure. I'm all about mycotoxins, mold, parabens, phthalates, keeping your body products, your household products, your cleaning products as clean as possible. And this is really core because toxic load can be something that weakens the immune system. Staying well, taking the very basic nutrients and things that you need. And today, if you stay tuned, I'm going to talk to you about a specific solution for Epstein-Barr that you can use to help you get well if you're experiencing extreme fatigue or chronic symptoms related to Epstein-Barr virus. So you can also um, help your um, diet, a clean diet is so important. So you want to make sure you're eating organic whenever possible, non-GMO, non-toxic, preservative-free, pesticide-free, real food at regular intervals. Uh, food and nourishment is key. Um, and then sometimes supplements can be really, really helpful. And that's one of the things I want to talk to you about today specifically was some of the supplements we have. So I have the EBV um, bundle. 
and it's been really, really popular. In fact, we've sold out several times, so stay tuned because uh, we are in stock right now as I'm recording this. It's called the EBV Energy Bundle. So let's talk about the EBV Energy Bundle, your solution to reactivation of Epstein-Barr. I've had thousands of patients take this product and have great success in restoring their energy and their symptoms after reactivation of Epstein-Barr. Now, like I said, Supplements alone are not the cure. You want to make sure you're sleeping well, eating well, uh, decreasing stress, and doing all of those things we know to keep ourselves in good shape. In fact, I think Epstein-Barr can sometimes be a wake-up call for us to actually take care of ourselves and say no. Uh, no is a full sentence, and so you can say no to the things that are draining you and focus on those things that are restorative and expansive in your life. Okay, so EBV bundle, let's talk about this. I'm going to hold this up, and then I'll explain each of the products and um, I'll show you a link, of course. So these are the three main products here. We've got monolaurin C, we've got olive leaf, and we've got lysine. And we've also got um, adrenal boost, which I don't have here in front of me, but we're going to talk about that as well. So the first thing, um, monolaurin happens to be a really, really one, wonderful antiviral. And I have found this particular dose and brand to be a much better uh, combination than some of the pellets and things that are out there for monolaurin. So, and this has additional C in it, um, two caps twice a day is the dose that I recommend on that. It's very powerful antiviral. Now, the great news is with Epstein-Barr or any other virus, if you have those viruses that are lurking and your T cells are not functioning well and you're getting recurrence of infection or extreme fatigue or other symptoms, um, this bundle will actually work for viruses in general, which is why I love it if you're feeling immune compromised. So first thing, monolaurin C we talked about. Second thing here is the olive leaf. Olive leaf is one of my favorite immune supportive nutrients. Olive leaf is very gentle and um, nourishing for your immune system. And I find it to be particularly help, helpful by raising those cytotoxic T cells. So we actually see improvements in your immune function. And that is also dosed at 1000 milligrams twice a day or two caps twice a day. And then the last thing, lysine um, is an amino acid precursor, and it actually will decrease the production of viral particles. It actually decreases viral replication. So that is also 1,000 twice a day or two caps twice a day. So this bundle is really, really powerful at treating reactivation of Epstein-Barr. Um, if you do take this, you will notice a difference within 30 days, but I also recommend you stay on this because viruses take a while between the lifestyle changes and the supplements on the protocol at least four to six months. So you wanna be on this for several months at a time. And then the other product that I mentioned that's super important um, is the Adrenal Boost. And I wanna share it with you about that one because it's absolutely critical um, for the adrenals. What happens with these viral issues is very, very frequently um, you will have some issues with your adrenal glands. And adrenals are the little glands that sit on top of your kidneys. They cause um, exhaustion, low cortisol, trouble with regulating uh, volume in your blood. So um, some of the um, components that the adrenal produces helps us keep hydrated like electrolytes and mineral corticoids. So all really, really critical. And I find for that energy boost, which is why I call this the EBV energy bundle or Epstein-Barr energy bundle, um, the adrenal boost is kind of the secret weapon. And you want to take that three caps in the morning. Again, adrenal boost, it's got a wonderful blend of adaptogens like rhodiola and eleuthero um, that will help support your adrenals during this time. So I hope it's super helpful. Um, would love to hear your comments, questions. Um, feel free to reach out and I will be sure and include a link if you want to know more. Um, you can find this at drjillhealth.com under EBV Energy Bundle. And I look forward to seeing you overcome the extreme fatigue and the symptoms associated with Epstein-Barr. Um, and I'm so happy to be here talking to you, sharing some wisdom and providing a solution. Thanks guys. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.